It's a common question in DeFi. What's next? What's next? What's next, Alp? Honestly, I don't know. Well, after watching this series, you might be asking yourself, indeed, what is next? And that's what is so magnificent about this new world of DeFi. We don't know. But whatever it is, it's coming fast and furious. Back up a minute to appreciate DeFi in 2020, the landmark year of Ethereum to date. You can ponder regrets at having not bought ETH for as little as $85 during the pandemic-induced market crashes in March, long before the most recent price movements to $1,000 plus. But put that to one side. Instead, where we saw real meaningful activity and adoption is quite literally every metric across DeFi. The crypto analytics newsletter, Our Network, estimates 500,000 active addresses and a million users were participating in DeFi at the end of 2020. Total value locked, TVL, the almighty meme of memes of memes, the meme that memes the memes in DeFi, showed about a 20x, 28x, what is it? It's 28x, increase from 700 million on January the 1st, 2020, to just over 14 billion dollars a year later. In 2020, tokenized Bitcoins grew an astounding 140x from about 1,100 tokenized Bitcoins to over 140,000 tokenized Bitcoins on Ethereum, worth today about $4.4 billion. And that means that all those long-term hodlers of Bitcoin are starting to play in the Ethereum sandbox. And that is a good thing. Stable coins on Ethereum balloon to about $20 billion, enough so that US regulators and Congress representatives got all frothy around the collar. Ah, what are we gonna do about these stable coins? Ah. I'll tell you what they're gonna do. They proposed a bill to regulate them. <sighs> Who saw that coming? So what can we expect in 2021? Honestly, it feels like we're about to go bananas. And if you've seen our videos from last year, you already know that we, we thought we went bananas, but it's gonna go even more bolo, ballistic, bonkers. Based on what we know is already in progress and being worked on, the future of DeFi looks like this. With the transition to proof of stake on Ethereum and continued advancement of layer two solutions, we should see Ethereum DeFi network fees dramatically drop to fractions of a penny per transaction, while transaction throughput increases to the point where you can confirm transactions within a few hundred milliseconds. The length of time required to click a button on the screen. Liquidity will continue to grow on AMMs and DEXs to the point where you can trade hundreds of millions and eventually billions of dollars, billions of dollars, in a single transaction with near zero slippage. Total value locked or TVL across all of DeFi will grow to easily eclipse the market cap of Bitcoin. And given that DeFi and Ethereum will likely hold more than 50% of the circulating Bitcoin supply in the form of tokenized BTC like REN BTC or SBTC, if BTC keeps going up in value, how can any Bitcoin hodler skip the opportunity to passively earn with their BTC, especially when there's no KYC or sign up required? DeFi like synthetics will someday allow you to trade pretty much whatever you want. Forex markets, commodities like gold or oil, Google stock, the S&P 500 index, Tesla stock, you name it. Derivatives trading in DeFi on Ethereum will be a multi-trillion dollar market. And not only will we witness these sort of numbers, but this trading will eclipse the volumes traded in TradFi because what trader would ever want to trade on markets during limited business hours when they can trade 24-7, 365 on the crypto markets? Basically meaning there's money to be made anywhere at any time. Anytime, anywhere. The biggest artists, musicians, and athletes in the world will turn to issuing personal tokens. They'll better connect with their fan base by rewarding them with tokens that represent their influence. Kanye West might well introduce a Yeezy token. The next Michael Jordan will have an Air token in it. Literally anything could happen. DeFi will eventually erode some of the most sacred institutions of finance, such as home mortgages. And once DeFi establishes reliable, under-collateralized lending, it's lights out. Now, why would anyone turn to manually emailing all their personal information with a dozen middlemen involved, each charging a fee, when home buyers can easily get instantly approved for the money they need to purchase a home on the likes of Ava or Compound? And it may sound like fantasy, but this is really just around the corner. And the list goes on, but the point is this, we as humans are terribly flawed at estimating the exponential changes that come about from technology. And this is a yet another example that we will likely all look back upon to say, I, I just didn't understand what was coming. I couldn't see it. Well, I don't blame you. So all we can do is stay patient, never stop learning, try everything new, and above all else, enjoy the ride that is DeFi. And think about this, if you can think it, if you can imagine it, chances are somebody somewhere 
is building it. The internet of money is really here, so you best not bet against it. You've been watching DeFi 101, do be sure and check out the other videos in this series and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the new videos as they drop. And above all, yes, stay safe out there.